There is a secret federal program that the cable companies and cell phone companies do not want you to know about because it can truly save you hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars a year on your internet bill. Quick update on the eye. It's not healing like the doctors want to. So I think they're actually gonna have to cut it open to actually get everything out of there and actually fix the issue. So I'm a little nervous. So just to have a little couple of prayers out there for me. I hope I come back with both my eyes. I'm working really, really hard to find different ways that I can save you money and get money back in your pocket. That is one of my biggest goals for 2024. I'm top of of all the credit, credit cards, and credit repair information I'm gonna give you, and business stuff, this is very, very important that we also focus on this because I know that Americans have racked up a lot of credit card debt and Americans are struggling out there. So this is gonna be one of my main plans for our channel in 2024. So on today's episode, we're gonna talk about a very special program that was created by the federal government. Actually, the FCC came along with this a year ago and it gained zero traction and very few people even know about it because guess what? The FCC turned off the comments on the YouTube video. They don't understand that comments are important for their algorithm so that you understand that this is directly from the government and the FCC. I want you to take a look at this quick video. At the FCC, we want to make sure that broadband is accessible to everyone everywhere. And we have a new program that will help us bridge the digital divide like never before. The Affordable Connectivity Program helps reduce the monthly cost of internet service for qualifying families around the country. Eligible households can receive discounts of up to $30 a month for broadband service and up to $75 a month if the household is on tribal lands. Eligible households also are able to receive up to $100 to offset the cost of a computer or tablet. With a $14.2 billion budget, this is the largest broadband affordability program we've ever had in this country and a unique opportunity for meaningful financial relief. For more information, please visit fcc.gov forward slash ACP. Now, when you go to that website that they showed in the video, and that's gonna take you to the website that says getinternet.gov. Now on that website, you're gonna see all the information that I, that I talked about, you know, about how the program works and what type of benefits you can get. Now, how do you qualify? Who qualifies is the big question, right? So let's talk about that. So you or your child or dependent are enrolled in government programs like Medicaid, SNAP, WIC, or others. It's very important to understand that you or your child or dependent so if you have someone in your home that's receiving some type of Medicaid, Medicare, SNAP, WIC, or anything like that, you could potentially qualify for this, but don't fret. A lot of people are like, oh my God, I don't qualify. No, listen, there's other ways that you can qualify also. So make sure you watch this to the end because I'm gonna break it down right now, step-by-step step on how to apply. And you're gonna see the different options that you can choose from to see if you qualify. So now we're gonna go to the website and we're gonna click on the apply button. I'll make sure to add the actual link for this website in the description of this video. And I'm going to pin it at the top of the comments so you can access it easily from our channel. You're going to enter all of your information for the home address where you will get internet. You cannot use a PO box. Don't try to be shady. This is a federal website. Just be aware of that because I know there's gonna be some of you out there that will try that. Now it's also gonna ask you for your email address and your phone number. Make sure that you give them accurate information. Once you hit the next button, it's gonna ask you, do you want to check your identity with the last four digits of your social security number? Or you can say, no, I wanna provide official documents, driver's license, tax identification number, passport, etc., or use my tribal ID number. If there are any tribal people out there, you can use that also. And then you're going to hit next. Last part is the most important. Now, if you choose the last four digits of your social, it's going to ask you for those once you hit next. So enter the last four of your social and then you're going to hit next. Next, it's going to ask you for your full name as it appears on your identification. Now, this is your first name, your middle name. It says optional middle name, but if you have a middle name, make sure you enter it properly so they can verify who you are. Your last name or family name. I don't know why it says that last name or family name. It's kind of weird. Then your date of birth and then you're going to hit the next button again. You're going to come to the page that says confirm your program participation. Do you participate in 
Medicaid or supplemental nutrition assistance programs like SNAP. If you do not participate in either of these programs, you may still be eligible. We'll just need to ask you a few more questions. But if you do, if you did, in fact, yes, I think I participate in Medicaid or SNAP. When you click that button, it will automatically qualify you. But if you don't, if you click no, there's going to be some other questions it's going to ask you. So when we click no, I'm going to show you what the screen looks like when you click that and you'll see all the other choices. I believe that more than 90% of people may potentially qualify for this program. And this is the reason why it's so important. So on the next screen, it's going to say, confirm your program participation. Which of the following programs do you participate in? Now you can check all that apply. Federal Pell Grant, Veterans Pension and Survivors Benefit Programs, Federal Housing Assistance, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants and Children, WIC, Tribal Specific Program, only choose if you live on tribal lands. I think I don't participate in any of these programs. I may qualify through my income. I don't participate in any of these, but I have a child or dependent who may qualify. So click on one of those and then you'll hit next. Once you click on the choices that do apply to you, your specific situation, then you're gonna click next. Once you click next, it's gonna bring you to the screen that says review your information. Make sure that your full name is accurate, your address, your mailing address if it's different, your date of birth, your phone number is optional, your email address, make sure you're sending it to an email address that you actually check. And then of course, your last four of your social security number, then you click the big blue button that says check my eligibility. Once you get the internet company on the phone, you're going to say exactly this, I have been approved for the affordable connectivity program and I would like to apply it to my service, then give them the information that you got on this actual page, screenshot it, save it, you're also going to get an email with all of that information. It has an application ID, all of your information, and then your address. And of course, you're going to provide this to the actual internet provider, and that's going to get you your discounted rate. Make sure that you do this as soon as possible, as soon as you get the code, because it's going to have an expiration date. It's going to tell you, as an example, if you did it today, it's going to tell you, you have until 4-9 of 2024 to apply this and start using the benefit. If you do not, it will expire and you will not get the discount every again. Now, once you are all set up and you got your discount applied, this is going to be in place for a full year, 12 months. After that time has expired, you're going to need to recertify. You'll most likely get a letter in the mail. It says it clearly in their FAQ section, and then it'll show you how to recertify with that letter, or you can click the button in the FAQ section that shows you how to recertify. Now, this is crazy that every single actual internet carrier out there is supposed to tell you about this program before you sign up to see if you qualify. But of course they don't. Why would they do that? Because they're gonna save you lots of money. They don't wanna save you any money. But this is exactly how you save hundreds of dollars on your internet service every year. Be aware that you can apply this to any internet provider. There are some people that live in the middle of nowhere. They're using most likely some type of cell phone service. You can apply that code to this program and it can also give you the discount if you're using a cell phone service as an actual internet provider. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you watch the next video because it is about how to work on your credit. And don't forget, subscribe to increase your credit score.